I'm out here today at a nice cut cornfield. It's the first day of gun hunting season, but the owner said there's no hunters out, so whatever. Uh, my first target <clears throat> is this um, just this fancy flat button. It's windy, so. Dais on a deep program. So we'll see. We've got a target in here. <clears throat> Let's see. It's hard to do with one hand. It was just a piece of lead. Just a little quick tip. I'm, everybody has their tips on YouTube, but um, nobody I hear talk about it. <clears throat> but it's very simple. Um, so this site here, it's part of this big field. <clears throat> and um, I always look for the, obviously for the creeks and little fresh water sources, um, you know, as the early colonists did too. Um, they'd set up their house. Um, in Virginia, um, there's not many foundations. You know, if you're hunting 1,600 house sites, I mean, you, you hardly ever find a foundation. It's um, a lot of the houses were um, post and hole. So they're not like up northeast where you had brick found, I mean, stone walls and stone foundations. Um, but anyways, um, the site, it's a little blips of iron here and there, and I see a little smattering of brick. You know, they did have a brick chimney, or, or they may have had a brick hearth um, for, for their fireplace. But <clears throat> um, when you get to something like this, grid it off. Don't roam. Um, when you roam, I mean, you, you're not, it's not efficient. So just, you know, grid it tightly, you know, walk back and forth, up and down, you know, through the iron and dig every blip and your finds um, will increase tenfold, guaranteed. Okay. Okay, bye. I don't know what it is. Let's take a look. Looks like a button or something. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Just a button with a, uh, looks like a, a square nail hole in the middle of it, <clears throat> unless that's where the shank. You can see the square type hole in it. So I don't see anything on it. Yep, just a flat button. And I love it because I just <clears throat> I just got here, you know, 15 minutes ago and I know they they uh, bush hogged this field not too long ago and I already see dig holes. So again, grid it real slow and uh, and you'll dig up all kinds of stuff that people missed. There we go. <clears throat> oh, let me take my glove off. See I got a little silver there, cut silver. Just grid in this field. I'm not gonna lift my camera up, you'll see the house, but I can lift it over here. So again, just gridding, slow. I mean it's a lot of iron in here. It's not machine gun iron, because I'm kind of away from the original house side a little bit, but um, just still going slow, digging everything. Um, I don't discriminate anything. 
Um, I like to hear the iron. Um, and you have the potential to discriminate a little silver like this if you discriminate. But hold on. All right. There we go. It's a cut pistorine. Like this is the date not no date side but it's a pistorine so it's you know um, kind of 17 maybe 30s to 50s <clears throat> um, let me see, no date. Um, yep Super and cool. I wanted to point out that dig hole right there. It looks like it might be today. Someone else might have been here, but anyways, my target was found probably five feet from it. I don't want to lift my camera, but so that's someone just roaming around aimlessly. And uh, I mean, the, the cut silver wasn't deep, and it was a good, good sound, so they missed it. I just dug some, just a deep piece of lead right there, but since I was rambling on about gritting, I'll just tell you how I do it. Um, so I run perpendicular to a tree line, so I just pick out a tree, any tree, and I just walk towards it, and I do the same coming back. And I pick the next tree and come back. And, you know, try to overlap a little bit. Um, and that's it. It's that simple. And it, you know, it can get discouraging because you're probably not going to find anything in 50 passes. But you know, at least you know when you when you do find something, you wouldn't have missed it. Okay, bye. All right, got another silver. <clears throat> Anyways, I won't take my gloves off this time. It's a little dirty, but it's another cut pistorine. That's two in this field that. Somebody has obviously trampled over in the past day or two. So, again, I know I said this ten times. Hold on, let me look at this. Let me look at it, see if I can get a date or something. Another pistarine. I don't think this is the date side. But anyways, again, with the gritting, sorry for the wind. Um, and uh, yeah, let me state that I don't grid an entire field. I first, I do roam looking for an iron patch and this whole you know, site is, you know, like I said, not machine gun iron, but it's some iron, and um, so I'm gridding it. And some people grid real fast, um, and some people just grid slow. I grid slow, but I, I hunt with people who grid real fast, and I can't find stuff behind them, so they do just as well. So, grid, 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 little roundup. Um, here's the finds. The two pistarines. The two buttons and a little buckle piece. Um, so um, that's all the trash. So it's obviously not all good. Um, but and there's some other lead in here that I found. I'm not gonna pull it out. But so there it is. Um, you know, coming right behind someone um, who obviously was just kind of prancing about. And, uh, and, um, so anybody who says a, a site is hunted out or they've hit hard, uh, they're probably lying. All right.